I've always felt location is important, but the people behind the deal are much more important than location. I'd much rather have a really smart, talented guy doing a deal in a not so good location than an idiot doing a deal in a great location, because you'll make money every time. Negotiation is a very, very delicate art. Sometimes you have to be tough. Sometimes you have to be as sweet as pie. You never know. It depends on who you're dealing with. I've always said that negotiation is not really learned. It's almost innate. It's in the genes. A negotiator is born. Okay. Making deals can be tough. I learned at a young age that you have to deal with the boss. It's very simple. Deal with the boss wherever possible. Once you make a deal with someone, it's really important to carry it through. If you start developing the wrong reputation, it makes it impossible to make future deals. Once you shake hands, that should be it. You've always got to stand up for yourself. You, you just have to fight for yourself because basically nobody else is going to fight for you. Negotiation is a very, very delicate art. The big thing in negotiation is to try and figure out your opponent. Otherwise, you're going to look like an idiot and lose big. Many times you hear the expression that God is in the details. When people come in to buy something, especially very rich people, they see details. If something's wrong, they see it, and it reflects in the price. Let me see what that looks like. That's why I'm up early in the morning to check every detail of my construction sites. And what is that? It's a little bit like watch somebody sell their used car and not wash it. You can spend $10 washing the car and get another $200 for the car. And I've seen guys, they're selling cars that are dirty. And I say, that guy is a loser. It's going to be a great store when they're finished. Never beg when you're trying to sell something. If it doesn't work out, take your lumps and relax. But you'll never sell through the begging route. You've got to believe in what you're selling. If you don't believe it, if you don't really believe it yourself, it'll never work. It'll never sell, and you're going to be miserable. We think we're going to have a very, very substantial portion of this building lease before we start construction. Thinking outside of the box is something that is very much of a cliche, but if you really want to be successful, that's how you're going to have to do it. People love the beauty of the building, and they love the location of the building. And I think they like Trump. It's always been easier for me to think big. It was always easier for me to attract the money and the capital than it would be if I did a small job someplace that nobody cared about and nobody wanted to finance. For instance, I'm building a new golf course in Bedminster, New Jersey. Frank, how we doing? Good. The site covers over 500 acres, which is huge. When I'm done, it's going to be one of the best golf courses anywhere in the world. All right, good smooth stuff. This top soil is great. Good smooth, OK? Trump, does he wear a wig? I, I have my own hair. At least I'll see it now in the wind. You cannot be successful without passion. If you don't love what you're doing, if you don't have passion for it, forget it. Do something else. You'll be much more successful, and you'll lead a lot happier life. I'm happy it's gotten down to this. Nice to meet you, Kwame. Hi, Kwame. How are you? All right. Have a seat. I've heard it through the grapevine that sometimes your energy level isn't always where it should be. Do you feel that way? No, I feel like I wear my energy different than others. It's just a style difference. I'm not, I'm not outwardly, you know. You've been around Donald for 12 yes. weeks now. If he is an energy level kind of person, then wouldn't he perceive you as being somebody who's not out there pushing hard? Amy, you're pretty familiar with the organization. Positive, but it can be a curse. 
I disagree. Sometimes I'm never satisfied. And some people will view this as a positive, but it can be a curse. I disagree with you because I think that's a strength. You do? If you're never satisfied, and that means you're always striving well, for, uh, see, for, I... for more. And there's always something up there that's better. Well, I still don't think you've told me a real weakness. Okay. Um, we'll not get involved in your education. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My education, then. I'm proud of my education. Would you have a problem hiring women yourself? No, I got my job to do. I got no time to teach you anything. Come on, learn by yourself. With a family, mortgage, car loans, kids to raise. Why should I do for him? Because they're going to say, hey, he's the new hotshot. Do you consider yourself a loyal employee? And how you are perceived by Donald Trump. I mean, everybody here is very stressed. What do you think their perception is of why you're here? Because I sure as hell can't figure it out. Thank you for your time. You spent an entire day with him. Norma, what do you think? Who are you most impressed with? Bill. He's solid. I liked what he said. I liked the way he did things and spoke about things. I, I thought he was good. I liked him a lot. All right. Charlie? Bill, to me, is a kind of guy who I could relate to immediately. He certainly could hit the ground running and would require very little supervision and time. Alan, what do you think of Kwame? He indicated to me that energy isn't always outward. And I said, well, this company is full of energy. And unless you portray the energy to Mr. Trump, he won't think you're sort of laid back and that won't take But he may be right about that. It's a very interesting statement. He may be right. I mean, we see a lot of people with a lot of energy, but it gets but a no way. product. Yeah. It's all wasted energy. He's got a likability about him. And in my business, if you can get an extra two or three minutes out of someone when you're sitting face to face with them because you're likable, that's important. I mean, Tom got me good because he was like, you know, you got to give me a reason to vouch for you with the losing record. He's like, you got a losing record. How are you going to explain that? I saw Kwame today, and he didn't look as confident as, as I've seen him. The same thing with Bill. This is what it's all about, performing in front of key people. Let's do this. All right. A lot as a person. I got to feel he's a guy with a lot of potential, but clearly is not a sharp kind of guy, clearly doesn't present himself as an intellect. Nick, I felt, was a great person to sell a product. He comes right at you, he's in your face, but there's nothing behind that. Can't see him heading one of your companies, Mr. Trump. Can't see it. Why? Because I think he's, I think he's a little bit too slick for his own good. And I honestly didn't walk away from that meeting feeling like, like I know him. Should we get on my nerves after a while? That you can accomplish anything if you put your mind to it. I think what's been the greatest experience for me is learning that you can accomplish anything if you put your mind to it. The greatest thing that can happen to a businessman or woman is to surround yourself with talented people who also happen to be loyal. You never know what makes a loyal person. And guess what? If they're not loyal to you one time, don't give them a second chance because they won't be loyal to you the next time. Good morning. I focus very, very hard on budget. When people don't adhere to a budget, it's only trouble. You're two million oh ninety five. Right. Can you get it down to a million eight? A million eight. A million eight. People go over budget, they're in big trouble. We have a deal. Okay. Bye. 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 The word leadership is always hard to define because you see so many different people that are so different and they're great leaders. Hello, everybody. But the quality of a great leader that I've seen that's common to all is respect. There's nothing like real estate. It beats paper stock certificates, and I think it's a great marker. People have to respect you or you cannot be a leader. Hey, no, folks. Bill, we just bought the rest of the SunTimes site, so we own 100% of it now. The marketplace is totally brilliant. If you price something a little bit high, all of a sudden, they don't buy. If you price it a little bit low, the marketplace just comes and eats it alive. You have to find the right price. And if you don't, big trouble. You better do a good job, Bill, or your ass is grass. Okay, good luck, Bill. Bye. When I build a building or when I build a golf course or a club or whatever I do, you always have to go after a certain audience. Number one paperback is the art of the deal. 
And the number one business book is how to get rich. You have to be able to pinpoint your market. And if you can't pinpoint the market, you won't be successful. Have a good time, everybody. Okay, look at the building, look at the facade. Get it painted, get it finished. I want to get rid of those air conditioning louvers, especially the ones in the terracotta. If you think an idea is really good, then just don't stop. Go after it. Keep selling it, because some of the greatest ideas were ideas that nobody wanted. So it's going to be painted like the top. Just Perfect. Perfect. I love it. Do it. To represent Donald Trump and the Trump Organization, somebody has to be driven, but maybe more important than anything, they have to love it. If they don't love it, they'll never, ever be successful. Once they love it, and once I can see they enjoy what they're doing, and they've got the talent to do it, they can't stop. Oh, flattery will get you everywhere. Contractors are a whole separate breed. They're tough, they're smart. They didn't go to Harvard or Wharton mostly, but you know what? They're just as smart as anybody that went there. You have to know how to deal with contractors, and you have to be tough, because they will pick your pockets, and you won't even know what happened. Bust through a police style. Better before. Can I try? Go ahead. Here, and you'll like it. We had our work cut out for us. Cleaned up the floors, painted the sill sills and trim. In the bathroom, we bought, purchased a new pedestal sink, new toilet. You know, the kitchen, we pretty much doubled the counter and um, cabinet space. We actually put down a new um, laminate floor as well. Moving on upstairs, we installed brand new wall-to-wall -wall carpet, and we also were able to add in a full bath. Um, our all top-of-the-line piping, we didn't cut any corners. We realized that um, we would get much more value out of the home by adding a full bath upstairs. I mean, that is key. Okay. 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 So, well, thank you for the tour. The way that we approached this was to leave the prospective buyer with as much opportunity in terms of imposing their own ideas and decor and finishes as possible. And you did the floor seal, I see. Yes. New ceramic tile in here, repaint, added a dishwasher, changed the hardware on the cabinets. Some mud came up and someone tracked some paint in. So the positive attitude is all about self-confidence. And self-confidence is the whole ball game. I like the name Trump Tower Chicago, like Trump National for the golf courses. If you don't have a positive attitude in business or in life, you'll never, ever be successful. I always thought of it Trump Tower Chicago, but the building is going to be amazing. Positive attitude is all about self-confidence, and self-confidence is the whole ball game. I like the name Trump Tower Chicago, like Trump National for the golf courses. If you don't have a positive attitude in business or in life, you'll never, ever be successful. Random House has really been amazing for Trump. Our last book, How to Get Rich, was so successful.